Today, I'm going to be changing our Moride suspension from the Moride CRE 3000 to the new Alltrek suspension by Moride. We've got the wet bolt shackle, heavy duty shackle kit. We're gonna be throwing that all on there. So get a good look at that before you see these shiny things go on. So what we got here is a CRE 3000s and we're replacing them with the Alltrek 4000. So we got our bolts loose, we got our leaf springs off now. All we got to do is loosen up the main bolt here. So we put the jack stands here to hold the axles up but they ain't going to go anywhere anyways. We're only detaching this middle part here. So we got that loose. And there it is. Out with the old. You can see our rubber was cracking and probably lost some of its cushion. And now with the Alltrek 4000, we are going to have a lot more rubber. So there you have it, our brand new Alltrek 4000 more ride suspension. We have already taken our first trip with these and all I gotta say is I could feel the big difference on the road. I could feel how it absorbs the potholes and the bumps a lot better than it did before. That big piece of rubber makes a huge difference. Our old rubber was very, as you can see, maybe right down in here, there's a big piece of rubber and it's kind of bowed out, which it's supposed to be right there. And that is your cushion on the road. One thing about the fifth wheel is when you hit a bump on the road, your whole truck feels the bump and it just really feels like you're just gonna fly apart sometimes. And so whenever you're going down the road and you see a bump coming and you hit it and it's just like, oh my gosh, and your truck just sways everywhere. This helps out a lot. I think one day I will have the pin box with the shock absorbers on there, the airbags or whatever else they have. There's different ones out there. I'm still looking at all. I think that'll make a big difference too. However, we are loving this so far. It's worked great. The trip here was awesome. And I'm really glad we did this. So with that said, that is my Moride installation, but that's not the only Moride product that I put on this trailer in the last couple weeks. And did I mention the front X brace stabilizer that I put on? Okay, so these are our front stabilizers, the X stabilizer. And the way it works is you basically just loosen it like this. Together. 
So they're loose now. And all you do is just tighten them up. It braces your legs. And you can walk up to the side of the trailer, push it back and forth, and you don't have the rock. It's as simple as attaching them by the clips, tightening up the bars, bracing it, and there you go. Stops the shaking. And as for the front, we have the Moride rear stabilizer as well. We have a 4x4 hitch receiver for the rear bumper. So if you're not familiar with that, every RV, most of the time, has a 4x4 sized bumper. So this is going to slide right on and it's going to allow us to put in our new Moride rear stabilizer and also a cargo mount. Um, storage mount for the back so I'm gonna be installing this today it's a bit windy however I gotta get it done and yeah that's pretty awesome it's my top toe got it on Amazon and I've been waiting for one of these things for a while so the rear stabilizer is pretty simple so this clip right here <clears throat> we'll clip it together if you're driving but we don't drive with ours we have a cargo platform so all you do is you're gonna fold it out do this and then it hits the ground like that and it comes with a little small tie down what we're gonna do is just hook it from here and then we're going to ratchet the tie down and it forces the legs to the ground and you got a rear stabilizer trailer doesn't shake at all. So if you're interested in the hitch receiver, the 4x4 hitch receiver, I got it on Amazon. There's a link in the description for that. And also our Moride link will be in the description for any of these products that you see. And there's our rear stabilizer. we have the old fashioned handle to get into our trailer. But what I'm gonna be doing is taking this off. I'm gonna be caulking the holes that are there, the old holes, and then I'm going to replace it with our new handrail system by Moride. But that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So come along with me, check out the process. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how that new extended handrail works as it goes all the way down to the steps. Alright, so we gotta cut some of this railing and then we're gonna install the new rail, the handrail. All right, so there's our safety rail by Moride. It's as simple as drilling holes, putting in these screws all the way up. It comes with a short bracket and a long bracket, a long one to cover up the old holes if you need to, like I did, and a shorter bracket if not. But that is it. That's an easy installation. Sealing the old holes, putting in the new ones, pushing that in, magnet sticks right up to the door. And it right out there you go pretty sweet setup nice long safety reel I realized I did not film the installation of the latch extend however it is pretty simple as well all you do is drill three holes here add the plate and screw it in there and then it comes up here and it has a set screw 
it clamps on to your handle and what it does is it allows kids or anybody to just walk up grab it and open their door and so just like that you have a latch extend by Moride. Link in the description. Check it out. Get all these products there. Upgrade your rig a little bit. Stabilize it. Add some support. And you're golden. So I hope you enjoyed this video of our complete Moride upgrade. Um, all the products are really awesome. We've enjoyed them so far. We enjoy the team at Moride. They're really good people and they're very helpful. And we, we're just excited about this stuff. So check it out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. We got a lot of cool content to share with you. So stay tuned, subscribe, please hit the thumbs up.